as you can see by looking at this sink, the bead of caulking that's been put on is extremely wide. It's not very ecstatic. First thing we need to do is go all the way around breaking the caulking loose. Don't want to rush this because if you have a countertop that with a laminate on it, it's an easy way to break the laminate, so go easy. What I'm using here is a flexible 6 inch putty trowel. I'm scraping off all the old silicone from the previous sink so I have a nice clean surface for the new silicone to stick to. You always want to make sure that the surface is clean and dry. That's both surfaces. The sink that you're going to drop in there and the countertop you're putting it on. What I'm doing now is I've just switched to a gasket cleaner that I had. I like the gasket cleaner because it's a little bit more rigid and it scrapes off that fine residue that's left behind by the silicone. Remember, you want both surfaces to be extremely clean. So prep is where it's at. You don't want to rush this step. You want to make sure you get off all of that fine silicone and all of the film that goes with it. Otherwise, when you put your new silicone adhesive down, it's not going to hold the sink in place. Once you've cleaned up all the silicone film, just take a spray bottle of soapy water, Windex, or whatever, and clean the surface really good, and get it good and dry. Because both surfaces, like I've said, need to be really clean for this. You want a good glued surface. Once you get the countertop all clean, now it's time to clean the edge of the sink. You want this to be just as clean as the countertop. So take your time and just scrape it gently with your sheetrock knife or utility blade until you get it cleaned all the way around and then clean it again with soapy water. The next thing to do is get some plumber's putty. A fresh container is usually the best because it has the most moisture in it and is more pliable. So what you want to do is roll it out like I've done here and you push it down making it stick to the sink. If you don't, when you flip it over, it'll fall into the sink cavity and you won't have a seal. Once you get all the plumber's putty on it, flip it over, line up the tailpiece into the P-trap and set it in gently once it's seated. Then press down to form the plumber's putty around so the little clamps don't have to work so hard to make the seal. You can see some of the plumber putty already squeezing out. The counter's clean and the sinks are clean, so just take a fresh tube of 100% silicone, cut about a quarter of an inch out of the tip of it, and apply gently. Okay, now all we need to do is change the angle, but have your diagonal cut on your tip of your caulking gun pointed towards the sink and work gently around it. You can hold the tip right on the surface of the countertop and just keep that beveled angle right on the sink itself and both will get caulking stuck to them at the same time. Work your way around, go easy, don't over, don't over add so you don't have so much to scrape off. As you can see, it can be a little taxing to get it around behind the sink. You just turn your beveled edge towards the sink, press it on the countertop, and the two will come together as one when you apply the silicone caulking. Once you've spread it with the water, take a paper towel and wipe off the excess. Keep wiping it off until everything that you desire to remove is gone. Then take your thumbnail, turn your thumbnail towards the sink, as seen here, and drag it around. That gets out that little minuscule amount of silicone between the sink and the countertop, making the seam virtually seamless. And as, as you can see here, there is no line between the sink and the countertop other than that little fine line of silicone that's holding the sink in place.